Hey guys, how's it going? It's Greg and uh, just out doing some field work. I can't believe it's the middle of February and there's no snow on the ground here in Minnesota and we're able to actually do some field work. And uh, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. It's very windy, pretty cold, pretty tough headwind right now, but we're gonna warm up. Um, I'm gonna throw all the discs in my bag and I'm also gonna throw my backup discs. So um, this is just a way that I make sure I got all my spots covered with all of the different molds and stuff in my bag. So I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of different shots, uh, introducing some discs and uh, seeing how kind of the brand new ones fly different than the ones that have beaten over time. Starting off with my zone that is always in my bag. Um, this is my stable one I don't throw as often, so should be pretty, pretty straightforward for a zone. Nice controlled hyzer. And then uh, this is my oldest zone in my bag currently. Um, this is one I throw on almost all up shots. A lot straighter, a lot more beat in. Maybe even a little stand up in this headwind. Yeah, still a zone, flies good. Um, now we're gonna get to my backup zones. Um, I got this Yuli Crystal Flex one from Ledgestone. Uh, these are cool because they're nice and puddle topped and they're pretty beefy. So this is one that I threw for a little bit. Uh, I don't throw it right now because it's white and there's supposed to be snow on the ground. It's great. Um, and then I have another one of those same ones, uh, pink. Um, this one is also puddle topped. This one's pretty new. I think I've only thrown it in the field a couple times. It's never been in the bag. All right, it looks like it's straighter, but that's just because I've warmed up a little bit more. Um, and then UV Crystal Flex. Yeah, UV Crystal Flex Get Freaky. Um, I, when I first started throwing zones, it was all about the Get Freakies. And uh, haven't been bagging them lately. I like the ESP, um, but in the cold, it is nice to have something you can dig into a little bit more. Good solid flight. So that are all of my zones. I guess I'll throw one more. This has been into the, out of the bag a little bit, zone OS. Interesting just to see how it flies differently than the other zones. See how it just gets to an angle and drops? So that's all my zones. Um, as it becomes summer, I might add one of those Crystal Flex ones in for a forehand, especially as my ESP stable one beats in a little bit. But right now, I'm pretty happy with that lineup of zones. All right, now we're going to move on to my Lunas. Um, these are the two that I've been bagging uh, for quite a while, in and out of the bag. And then these are two brand new ones that uh, I want to compare and throw. Um, so I'm going to throw my two ones that I've been bagging for a while first. And... Uh, just so we can get kind of a lay of uh, Luna's into this headwind is not going to be great, but this is my go-to one. Yeah, should just fall pretty straight down. Happy with that. And this one that is signed by Paul, but I don't throw it because I can't find it in leaves. Pretty similar flights. Uh, this one I got in a mystery box. It's actually a lightweight one, so 170, 172. Never thrown. Expected to turn a little bit. Oh, it's it's a good one. Yeah, a little baby turn on that. Like it. Last one I'm gonna throw it real quick. Brand new six claw. Also turns nice. Next up, we're gonna throw mids, and we're actually gonna start with the flippiest options. Uh, that is this stack of Supras. Um, these two have been in the bag for a long time, and then these two glow, and this purple one are brand new. So let's see how they fly. I know this one with the die is uh, very flippy. 
So lots of hides are on this guy. Yeah, that kind of replaced soles in my bag. Um, just very beaded Supra. This one's a lot straighter. Um, the Supra is kind of a strange disc because it kind of feels like a like putter distances sometimes. Oh, I threw it so high, but it turned over because it's a Supra. That's fine. Very flippy mids. If you're thinking that they're going to be a buzz replacement, they're not. All right, glow. That one's a little straighter. Don't hate that. Glow. That's typical super right there. Just flip up, barely any fade. And then last uh, forged plastic. My favorite plastic, but it's not as stable sometimes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's good rips. All right, and this is one area of my bag where I was confused is between the Supras and my Buzz SS's. So I'm gonna throw these three Buzz SS's to compare. See, the Buzz SS feels like a little more glidey, like it just has a tendency to want to stay up in the air a little more. Same one, pink. These are Wasp tools, these first one, a Ledgestone Run ESP. See, watch, it just keeps turning, which is great. Feels like it's more glidey, um, so it wants to stay in the air, but it also holds the turn a little bit more than the Supra. So they're like similar but kind of different shape shots. Um, this is a Tim Barham. This one's very flat, and I think I've only thrown it a couple times. I don't even remember how it flies. Yep, just like a Buzz SS. Just eyes are flipped to turn, lays down easy. So that's uh, my Buzz SS's and Supra's. I kind of think I'm gonna bag both. I, I like the feeling of those, but uh, I'm gonna go pick them up and then we'll move on to the buzzes. Next stack of discs are my buzzes, my buzz OS's. Uh, my buzz OS's I throw are super beat in, so they're kind of just like buzzes, but a little bit of fade at the end. But I have some buzzes that are also stable. So a little bit more overlap in these molds. So I'm gonna throw these all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 discs here. I'll talk through them as I go. Um, this TI Buzz has been a backup in the bag for a long time. I don't particularly like TI plastic. It's slippery. Um, so it's a backup disc for now. I don't remember how it flies. It's short. Flies good. Um, old Z Flex. Uh, this one flies more like a Buzz SS than a Buzz. Nice and straight. And then 20 year. This is probably the furthest flying buzz I've thrown. It just is so glidey, wants to stay so straight for so long. And of course I throw it into the ground, but like I said, it just wants to stay in the air. Bad throw, still far. Um, let's see. These are two that are in my bag. So this is my flippiest buzz in my bag. And then this is, was my stable buzz for a while, uh, but it's getting a little beat in. So I have a new one that I'm gonna try in that spot. So this is like a buzz SS as well. See, so it just holds that drift over. It's beautiful. This was my go-to all of last year. I think this is a, I don't remember what year this was. 22 maybe. Nothing like a straight buzz. It just falls out of the sky. This is one I got out of a used bin recently. 
Still has a number on it of someone else. Never thrown it. It's flippy. It's very flippy. <laughs> and short. All right, brand new Z-Buzz. These are typically the most stable, especially if you find ones with little dome on them. Um, so a little domey, max weight Z-Buzz. Should fly like kind of like a beat-in Buzz OS. Of course, the wind rips, but you see how it's fighting out already? Still fades, even after all that turn. All right, we're going to rapid fire these Buzz OSs. Uh, these are all essentially the same. Just beat to heck Buzz OS. Anytime there's a buzz shot that needs a little more control because of wind or trees. Bose OS just guarantees you'll get the fade at the end. We're moving on to fairway drivers. Uh, I do bag cicadas. I'm not going to throw them today because they're it's a little windy and I feel like it won't really help me. But cicadas are my flippy molds. Um, but I have finish line for my slower uh, fairway drivers. So I got five rallies, three torques. I have some other ones coming soon too. They just released a new plastic of the torque, which is nice. But um, these are really nice. I have two that I've thrown for a while and uh, actually really just one. Rally I've thrown for a while and four brand new torques. And then two, no, one rally I've thrown for a while, four brand new rallies, two torques I've thrown, and one brand new one. And uh, the rally and the torque are very similar. They both fade very hard, but rally just goes a little bit straighter for a little bit longer. So hoping I can illustrate that with this first rally. This is the one that's in my bag. So hopefully I can actually throw it good. Yeah, turn straight and then it always has a nice dump. Brand new rally, should be a little more beefy. Or I can just throw it terribly. Just don't watch that one. <laughs> Brand new rally, <laughs> try again. See, they look like they're going to turn over, but then they always stable out, which is what I really like about them. They did do a retooling on it, and I don't think I have any of the retooled ones, but it's supposed to be even straighter, so that'll be interesting. One day I'll just be surprised by it. Yeah, they get out there pretty far. Last rally. This one's the flattest one of the group. Good discs. Now the torque on the other hand will look like a rally, except it'll never flip to flat. It'll just always hyzer. Unless I give it Annie, but hyzer the whole way. It's still nice and glidey. Like it still gets out there. The other one that's been in my bag. Kind of yanked on that and still stabled out. Honestly, they fly like raptors that feel better for backhand. It's torque in the rally. All right, next we're going through my stack of eras. These are kind of like control drivers, um, but the forged ones are a little flippy. And so I kind of use them as like a flippy distance driver because they're so glidey. Um, but then I also have some composite ones that are like super stable. Um, so stable that I haven't quite figured out where they fit in my lineup. Um, I carry one in the bag, but I don't throw it often. But we're going to go through this stack. I'm going to throw the forged ones first and then the... Uh, composite ones after just to compare and contrast. So 
This first one is the one that's been in my bag the longest, but it's not my flippiest. Um, I got this in uh, when I was in Utah playing, I don't even remember the, the tournament, but uh, this is the one if I just want to throw the furthest, this is probably my furthest flying straightest disc. Like if I just need to go straight for as long as possible, this is the one I bring out. Also, don't usually throw it into a headwind like this, but. Not bad. And then uh, this gray one is my backup to that blue one. Um, so it's been in the practice bag for a little bit. Uh, the wind, wind kind of pushed that one over. And then uh, this dyed one is actually my flippy one in the bag. It's new, uh, but it is flippy. Um, so anything I want to end to the right. So I'm going to try to put this on a lot of hyzer because I'm scared of it flipping over completely. Like that. <laughs> Could have called it. It's nice when you need that shot. And then I have two more. Brand new, never thrown. Um, cool little bar stamp one. Uh, see how this one flies. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> a forged arrow that fades at the end. It's always a nice thing to see. Uh, and then stock stamp blue one. Wow, lift. Yeah. And then uh, these are the forged ones. So... This is the one I said it's been in my bag, and then I have two matching pink ones that are brand new. These are like if a torque and an era had a baby. So it's faster like an era, but as stable as like a torque. Let's see if I can get some turn on them. It's hard though. See that? Like barely even flips up. And they're not even that glidey. Need a little bit more oomph on them. Oh, it got a little bit. Got a little bit. All right. This last one, we're just going to give it give it an actual good ripping. Oh, I turned it over. So throw it on hyzer next time. So yeah, I don't know where it fits, but that is my control drivers. And uh, I'm gonna pick them up and then we'll do distance and we'll be done. This is gonna be the last last thing we video. Um, these are all finish line discs, distance drivers, intervals, and Daytonas. And I have to say my biggest complaint with finish line is that unless it's stamped on the disc, I can't tell the difference between these two molds. And I find that irritating. So here's my plea to please emboss what they are on them. A lot of these I know what they are because I've been throwing them a while, but there's a few that I'm like, yeah, that could be anything. So these are the ones that currently bagged these four, three intervals, one Daytona, and these are the three uh, brand new to me. And I don't know what they are. So hopefully this wind will help us tell. I'm gonna start with my flippiest interval. Also, don't put glow tape on discs that you care about because it's impossible to get off. And I have to figure a way to get it off before my first tournament because this is my flippy interval and I love it. But, all right, flippy interval. Uh, this will probably turn over in this headwind. <laughs> or just get not turned over at all. Yuck, bad first throw. Um, this is my backup to my flippy interval. So it's not quite as flippy. Try to give it a little more. A little nose up on that. It's going to be kind of hard to get distance just with the fact that we're throwing into a pretty good headwind. Uh, ugly die job on an interval. That's how an interval is supposed to fly. Yay, I got one. She's out there. 
And then a Daytona. This one's beat in for a Daytona though, so I honestly think it's just a stable interval at this point. Not bad. All right, we're gonna go three brand new guys. Could be Daytonas, could be intervals. Let's go the lightest one first. It's definitely an interval, just the way it turned. Just let this lady pass. All right, blue, Daytona or interval. That one could be a Daytona. It's pretty far out there though. All right, last one. Pretty sure this one actually is an interval. So try to go a little bit more of a distance line. Oh, it slipped out of my hand. Bummer. Anyway, those are my Daytonas, my intervals. If you haven't tried finish line discs, this is your plug to go do that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.